Okay, here we are still in the four bay, but we're at the other end. There's the uh, outtake outlet port, ports. outlet ports. That's where the water comes out. There's the steel reinforcement in the concrete wall that I was talking about in my live. Up there at the top is an emergency platform. That's gonna come off as soon as the walk, the, the locks are rewatered again. That's there in case there's an emergency down here where Michelle and I are. Once you're down here, the only way up is through the stairs and you don't wanna have an emergency and have to try and get somebody up through the stairs. So that grate that you see, um, on the actual platform can come off and they can put a stretcher down here and put somebody on there and just haul them up that way, which is a heck of a lot faster. I wouldn't mind going that way too, just for, you know, not having to do stairs. Here are the gates. Is that sick or what? Legit 225 tons per gate. That's a thousand tons of gate right there. No, 900 tons, I guess. Two, four, six, eight and 25, yeah. 900 tons a gate. All the wood timbers that you see there are called fenders. They protect the gates and uh, the ships will rub up against those when they're locking through. You can see we're in the shadows down here, which is nice. There you can see the water level marker. It doesn't go as high as the one that I saw earlier. It's on the other side. It goes up to 50 something feet, but that one goes to, uh, looks like 40, 39 and a half-ish, something like that. You can actually see where the water level is. You can see that water line. So typically during the, the season, this would all be filled in with water. We're, we're standing somewhere that all season long, this would be filled with water all the time. Pretty friggin' cool, if you ask me. And then beyond here, if I walk this way just a little bit, I'll show you the debris pit. I'm glad this camera has stabilization mode over here. You really get an idea of how big these gates are. This is ridiculous. Yeah, so you got the size there. I hate these crows. I want to smack them. Okay, so there's the debris pit. It's just a little bit lower than we are. That's where all the crap collects. And that always gets cleaned out. And the airlines. Yeah, the airlines are in there too. So it's basically like a bubble system and it pushes the air through and it stops the ice from collecting in here. Is this cool or what? Whoa. Okay, on we go. Catch you later. Bye for now.